whispers. Are you sponsored by New Balance? Yeah. Nice. Check out the closer door. Oh, I know what the end of New Balance stands for. I wouldn't. Simon, just the uh, I like a good N-word as much as anybody, but we got to kind of reel it in a little bit because sponsorship, right? No, no, no. The stuff that so I don't know. This is I will be taking down the podcast with Todd. Hey, Jeff, you you come in if you want. Just I don't want anybody else hearing this. I think people are kind of like canceling you. It's the fat, the fat people are. Mm. And it doesn't, it doesn't help that I'm kind of, they think I'm a neo-Nazi. So yeah. they're saying that you're kind of like my protege. I think it was the, the fat one and the suicide one really got people upset, not so much the naked... Have you heard of uh, Reddit.com? Yeah. So, I guess on this website there. Uh, hmm. It's all over r slash comedy. That's like ver- that's like the comedy version of the website. Ah, uh, now I know how Joe Logan feels. Yeah. Roscoe Comedy Club. And I called them, and they're. I guess they're owned by Laugh Factory, so like all the Laugh Factory clubs are kind of like not a persona non grata. I don't know what Pfluggerville means, but comments have you in hot water. I mean, this did not even got you caught for contact yet. Yeah. But I think just in the future, like this is not good. I don't know where they got the anti-Semitic from. I don't think you said anything about Jews. Uh, I don't know who that is, but someone sent that to me. So, mm. um, so I think just probably don't if when you do your next stand-up thing, mm-hmm. just don't say anything racial or misogynistic. This will probably blow over. It'll be fine. This happened to me, you know, and I got kind of sidelined for eight years. But it's not that big of a deal if you, you know. You stream, you make your money that way, whatever. Um, my opinion is it's going to blow over, but I don't think you should say any more like N word, C word jokes. That they, not even, don't even mention it. Mm-hmm. Like, don't try to goad me into saying it. Don't don't say any jokes about women. Next stand up routine you do, just keep it like pretty clean. That's, okay. It's up to you how you want to manage your career, but that's just kind of my yeah. opinion on it. Yes, my career is over. No, 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 no. This is this will. Yeah, I guarantee you, this will blow over. I don't know. I 100% guarantee you this will blow over. I mean, couldn't it tell us being, you know, sarcastic? They get, dude, they get they get pissed off. Like at, irony? They get pissed off over 40, well, irony is questionable. This, there's a whole, there's the circle of irony that we, you know, it doesn't matter. But listen, it, it'll be in 48 hours they're going to forget. So just let it blow over. Yeah. Just go back to normal and do your thing. That's my, my two cents. But I just wanted to make you aware of that because it is kind of material to your career. So, anyway. Wow. I thought being on this show would help my career, but... It, Simon, it will. I promise you it will. Trust me. If this is, it's going to blow over me. Yeah, I'm they, have to move to another state, change my name. No. No, 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 no. no. Wow. You're going to be fine. Um... I've been there. It's you, you'll be fine. Trust me. Just next next stand up you do. Just keep it keep it PG thirteen.
short documentary like how they started. Like it's overgoing oh, shot of the woods. Oh like, yeah. Months of acts of violence committed by dinosaurs <laughs> happening. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this first 